purpose of this video is to show you how we use the 10300 service kit to replace your old Frankie housing with one of the new BPA free recyclable thermoplastic housing or a stainless steel housing. Now the first thing you'd want to do is shut off water to the kitchen. The next thing you'd want to do is shut off water to the filter. If you have one of the old Frankie shut off valves you'll have a bar that looks like this. Just turn it like that, that shuts off water to the filter. Now to test this, you'd of course want to turn your filter on and make sure no water comes out. Then you know you've definitely shut everything off. Now, when you go to remove your filter, there's going to be residual water left in there and in the line. So put a bucket or something underneath to catch the water. The old ones had plastic, poly tubing, and push fitting. So to get the fitting out, you're just going to push this collar in and there will be a more detailed video on how to do that. Push it in and remove the poly lines. Now the shutoff valve, you're just going to leave in place because the kit comes with a new shutoff valve and I'll show you how that works. Just press it on the collar, remove it, and then you won't use this shutoff valve any longer. Now, the 10300 kit comes with this shutoff valve which is an inline valve. You'll take your existing faucet, which has a water supply line from your home, and you'll actually tap into that with this new shutoff valve. So the first thing you'd want to do is remove that line. So just take a wrench, loosen that up. One side will be male, one side will be female. Put that on there. Tighten that on. All right, now the new shutoff valve is in line with your cold water supply going to your faucet. Now what you'll do, You'll take the poly tubing from the 10300 service kit, cut it to length. For the purposes of this video, I've just cut very short lengths. You'll put it in the, again, it's a push fit. Put it in line with the faucet. This is how the new shutoff works, and that provides water. Now, on your plastic, and on your metal filter canisters, it'll have direction of flow. So you want to make sure that you're going with the direction of flow. Put your tube in there. Put the other three poly tubing in there. Now, the older filters used one quarter inch tubing. So to make the connection from the one quarter inch tubing to the three eighths inch tubing, the kit comes with this adapter. Again, it's a push fit. Just push it on there, and then three eighths goes in the other side, and that makes the connection from three eighths to one quarter. Now, the poly tubing, there's an extra length included in case you don't want to use the old tubing. Poly tubing is very susceptible to radical bend, so you don't want to have a radical bend in there, otherwise you'll get leaks. But once everything's hooked up, you're going to have it going from your water supply through the filter to the faucet. So, turn the water back on, turn the shutoff valve back on, and let the faucet run for about two minutes just to purge the system. And that'll complete your installation of the new Frankie filter canister using the 10300 service kit.